Hello my friends, back again for another build. Uh, this time we're doing uh, the Walther's Sawmill Kit. Uh, as you can see here, uh, I got this kit a few years ago as part of a barter deal. Uh, I often say as a custom builder, the best, the best pay I ever get is a barter deal. So uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty simple kit. I'm not really experienced on plastic, so uh, I'm not really going to be doing a how-to. Um, all I did was use, uh, it's got a real funky orange color to the plastic. So I painted it a uh, forest green out of a spray paint rattle can. Because acrylic paints really don't attach to the plastic nicely. So I painted it with the, gr the green rattle can and then came back with acrylic paint because acrylic paint will attach to the flat versions of these paints. So uh, that's what I used and that's okay. And then on the inside I used uh, some flat black. Uh, so uh, the base, I used the uh, camo colored spray paint the tan color I'm gonna go over it with my handy dandy shop concrete um, so that's that and uh, our uh, sawdust burner uh, put together glued together painted flat black with the cap off painted the, the cap flat back on its own and then uh, from the top I used uh, some uh, rustic rust or the orangey orangey colored spray paint and uh, did a little bit of a, a fade around the outside um, so it's kind of an it's it's basically copying the photos that I've seen online I'm gonna dry brush some gray on top uh, I was severely sick yesterday so we didn't get any of this on camera doing this stuff so uh, we'll be starting this here uh, however, I'm going to uh, turn on the podcast, we're going to speed this up a bit, and we're just going to build this, okay? Now acrylic paint won't stick to plastic in and of itself so that's why we had to spray paint the plastic first so that we could then add our acrylic paint. The same for our outer walls. Um, it's in my opinion very hard to paint plastic.
every well-built model starts with a very stable corner. Let this dry completely.
So once again, I'm not too experienced with plastic kits. I didn't really want to do a how-to because I expect completely that there are a million, billion, trillion mistakes that I am going to make while making these plastic kits. I have to learn everything from scratch all over again. You know, and, and while these uh, plastic kits can be knocked out in a day, which makes me kind of realize why it's so hard to sell one of these craftsman kits like man a kit takes more than a wood kit takes more than a day let's just say that wood takes a little bit of time to dry I guess I don't know what the deal is but these plastic kits they'll turn out nice uh, we're gonna make it into a, a full diorama and possibly the first uh, module for the Ontario Sippers and Switchers Society. Um, but that's for another video, my friends. So, um, thanks for watching. I finally slipped a video in the land of this month. I've been pretty busy. So, if you like these videos, please slap a like on the video. If what's your favorite Walther's kit? That's a fancy question I'd like to ask. Um, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe, and if you like these videos and you want to see more, well, not the plastic ones, the wood videos, become a patron. Patreon.com slash Ron Perry. Thanks for watching, my friends. My name's Ron Perry. Bye-bye.